evening everybody, it's Mark, aka the Nerdy Punk, back with you again today for a new video. Um, this evening I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Uh, I found out this website from some other YouTubers. It's called HamiltonBook.com. It's a really good, cheap uh, place to buy Blu-rays and DVDs as well. Also, I think they have books, hence the title of the name. But... I heard some people talking about how you'd uh, they've been able to find really good deals on movies and stuff like that, so I figured I would look, uh, see what they've got, and I ended up picking up, I think, eight titles, I'm not entirely sure, all on Blu-ray. There's one Scream Factory release on here that I'm very excited for, I paid a little bit more for it, but it was still a really good deal, so without further ado, this is a really weird shaped box, but uh, anyway... I'm going to go ahead and open this up. If you've ordered from HamiltonBook.com in the past, leave me your thoughts on it down below as a service. They don't have like every movie ever. So they only have about a thousand movies to select from, but a thousand's quite a bit. So uh, I ended up finding some pretty good stuff that I needed for my collection. So this is the first stack that I've got here. Also, all these titles are brand new sealed. So I got a lot of these titles that I would normally get at like Super Mega Replay for the same price, but if I got them at Super Mega Replay, they would have been used. So it's really interesting. All right. They send you a sheet that has a recap of what you ordered, and it also has some titles that might be interesting to you on the back, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I've got here, most of these titles were $3 or $4. Um, one of them, the Scream Factory title, I paid $19.95, but that's cheaper than you would pay on the Scream Factory website, so that's still a really good deal. All right, first title is The Bye Bye Man. This is a horror movie that I've heard a lot of uh, really bad things about. I've heard that it's terrible, but almost that it's terrible in a good way, that it's funny. <coughs> and so I'm really interested to check this out because I've heard that it's a really funny horror movie. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. using a ruler as scissors today. <laughs> the life of a YouTuber. You have to be uh, creative in what you open up your plastic shrink wrap with. It's the glory. All right. It even comes with a digital copy. It's awesome. You could literally, if you were just selling the digital copy, you could probably sell it for how much I paid for the entire set here, the entire Blu-ray DVD set, because I paid, Bye Bye Man was $4.95, brand new, I could probably sell the digital copy for 4 bucks if I wanted to, um, and completely make my money back, pretty much, maybe get this for a dollar, so yeah, amazing deal, amazing site, couldn't recommend it enough. Next up is The Visit, another horror film, this is M. Night Shyamalan, I heard pretty good things about this one. I think it's like some kids go to visit their grandparents and their grandparents are like evil or something and they try to kill them, something like that. It seems like kind of like a funny uh, concept. I'm hoping, I don't know if this is like a funny horror movie or if it's supposed to be like a serious horror film. Interested to see it. Um, it is only rated PG-13, so I don't know how good it'll be, but we'll see. Next up, this one is really interesting. I saw the preview for this on one of my Blu-rays, and uh, once I saw that they had it at this website, I decided to jump on it. Knock Knock. This is a horror movie starring Keanu Reeves. Basically, the plot of this movie is that these two chicks just randomly, these two really hot chicks just randomly land on Keanu Reeves' doorstep and ask him to use their phone and they're wearing like wet t-shirts and stuff and they try to seduce Keanu Reeves they have a three-way and then they start like torturing him like violently torturing him 
which sounds just incredible. The, <laughs> the trailer to this movie was funny. So funny. So I'm really interested to see this. This is Keanu Reeves in full John Wick uh, beard and everything. <laughs> um, it looks like this might be a foreign movie. Or at the very least, this may be... Um, I think this is the this is the Canadian Blu-ray. Yeah, this is the French Canadian Blu-ray, which is actually cool. I don't know if I have any of these in my collection. Um, you can see down at the bottom, it's uh, the French labels for 16 and up. It has the uh, description in English and French. So yeah, really cool. The I believe it's Region One. Um, I'll have to check into that. Because if I can't play it, that sucks. But if it's a French Blu-ray, or if it's a Canadian Blu-ray, Canadian French, then it should play perfectly fine in English and on American Blu-ray players. So you shouldn't have a problem. Canadian and American Blu-rays are the same region. So, anyway, interested in that one for sure. And finally in this stack, and then I've got another stack to go through, Picked up Django Unchained. I believe I picked this up for three bucks. Yeah, three ninety five for this one. Uh, really good film. I'm not the biggest fan of Tarantino. I think his movies, like, obviously he always has gratuitous, over the top violence and gore. And I understand that that's his calling card. It's just not something that really appeals to me for no reason. You know, his violence and gore is supposed to be kind of like funny and. Um, over the top and ridiculous, I don't really find it that funny. Um, and I think that's just like really a personal thing. Nothing against him as a filmmaker. He probably makes really good movies. And this is, aside from the one scene, this is a really, really good movie. That one scene where it goes really over the top with the violence, you could probably toss that out for me. This is a really funny movie, really good performances. Leonardo DiCaprio in this movie as that slaveholder. Fantastic performance. And again, a cheap... Blu-ray. All right, next stack, which I don't know where I put the other stack. Where did I put it? There it is. Okay, this is where the goodies are. Next up is Sin City on Blu-ray. This is a graphic novel film, I believe. I think this this also looks like a Canadian French. Yeah. That one has a sticker on it. Cool. Two French Canadian Blu-rays in my collection. Anyway, it looks like a dark movie, suspenseful graphic novel film. I've heard good things about it, so I picked it up. Three more titles to go. Picked up the Alien vs. Predator double feature. It says both of the Alien vs. Predator movies. Now I think I should have all of the Alien series. I just watched... Um, the original four, as well as Prometheus and Alien Covenant, this past uh, weekend, I believe, or this last week. So now that I have Predator, Alien vs. Predator 2, the two Alien vs. Predator movies, I can hopefully see every single Alien film in the series. I've heard these aren't very good, but I picked this up for a good deal as well. Okay, I picked up the two Rob Zombie Halloween films, the double features. Um, I have not seen either one of these. The only Halloween movies that I've seen is I've seen the original by John Carpenter, and then I have seen the 2018 film with David Gordon Green uh, directing. And I'm interested to see these. I've heard very different mixed reviews on these, but... I figured I would check them out. I wanted to check them out, so. And finally, this is gorgeous. The Scream Factory exclusive steelbook, nonetheless, of Halloween 2. So, like I said, I've seen the original. I need to see the sequel. Limited steelbook packaging, only 10,000 were made. So 10,000, that's a fairly big number, but still limited packaging. Um, it's a Scream Factory release. There's the Scream Factory logo at the bottom there. Hard to see. I will go ahead and pop this one open. Yeah. I don't know if John Carp Carpenter made the second one or not. 
I don't know when he stopped making them. If he just made the first. <clears throat> yeah. It, oh, it's written by John Carpenter. Yep. It looks like he made it. Yeah. So I'll try to save that hype sticker. I don't know what I'll do with it. I don't know if you're supposed to put hype stickers on steelbooks. I don't know if that's kind of sacrilegious. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a huge steelbook guy, but I do like picking them up when I can find them for a good price. And for a Scream Factory steelbook, 20 bucks, less than 20 bucks. It's crazy. So there's the back thing. Let's pull that off. believe that's Jamie Lee Curtis on the back of the steelbook there. You don't know what death is. That's the quote in there. It is two discs as well. Got the theatrical cut on Blu-ray and then you've got the uh, television cut DVD with Donald Pleasance there on the cover. Or on, yeah, on the cover of the disc. It's a really cool, a Scream Factory Steelbook. A Scream Factory Steelbook for less than $20. That is crazy. So yeah, I couldn't recommend Hamilton Book enough. Definitely, um, definitely check them out. I think I spent like 66 bucks, something like that in total. Picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight titles. And a couple of these are double features. So yeah, <laughs> got a nice deal there. I also signed up for the Horror Pack uh, recently. The Horror Pack is like a subscription service where you get four horror movies a month. Um, and I, I actually signed up for the whole year. I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. <laughs> I've got at four Blu-rays a month for 12 months. Uh, that's too much math. <laughs> I think close to 50 movies there. So anyway, I'm going to start doing those unboxings probably in March next month. So stay tuned for those. And uh, yeah, leave me your thoughts on these movies down below. If you've uh, shopped the Hamilton book before, leave me your comments down below on that as well. Anything and anything, anything and everything. Leave a like button if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for future content, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.